Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deathstroke, and today I have a battle for the GBA Week 8. Uh, Grambles vs. the Oxys, me vs. Gubstacular. His link will be in the description, as all my battles have their link in the description. He leaves with Rotom Heat, and I did not expect him to bring Rotom Heat at all. Uh, I thought he was going to bring Heatran, and I built my team around trying to uh, break his... Uh, Heatran, uh, and Gastrodon combo, but, uh, he didn't bring Heatran, so it's alright. Uh, he burns me, which is, uh, pretty terrible. Uh, I, this is actually an Expert Belt Flygon. Uh, I just wanted to bring it to bluff a Scarf slash Choice Band. Um, it, uh, it worked. Uh, I bluffed the band, and he didn't, re he didn't realize it, but, uh, it didn't factor into the match. Really. Uh, Blissey can take hits from Rotom Wash, uh, but he doesn't want to take Pain Splits, because uh, then I can just basically... Like, I take uh, a lot of damage from it, and he gets a lot of health from it. The Conkledur is here, but I have to get... Uh, I have to get that burn off my Vygon. And, uh... Obviously, I'm going to be switching out. Um, I think he goes for the knockoff here, possibly... Uh, yeah, he goes for the knockoff, and, uh, Rotom Wash short-lived, because, uh, he gets the critical hit, knocks off my chest of berry, um, so I can't even rust up, I'm just gonna go for a full switch, that's gonna do nothing, um, at this point I wanted to keep Rotom Wash around for Rotom Heat, <coughs> but, <coughs> uh, it turns out not to work, uh, I figure he's gonna go into, uh, Conkled it, or he's going to go for the Drain Punch, just because it's the smartest move. Um, but he's got to switch out. He's uh, afraid of the Spore, which is painfully obvious. Uh, but I didn't think uh, that he was going to just go into Rose Raid, because I'm an idiot, apparently. Um, like, we were I'm pretty sure we were in the call when this happened, and I was like, oh, Rose Raid, I totally forgot. And he's like, well, yeah. I was like, yeah, makes sense. Anyway, um... I get a critical hit, uh, I guess it's something, right? <laughs> uh, Amoongus, I mean, I had high hopes for Amoongus, and, uh, it's just not working out. Uh, some, uh, I'll agree right now and say that the trade that I made earlier in the season for, uh, Amoongus giving away Venusaur, probably not the, the smartest move. Uh, in fact, it was probably the worst trade so far in the GBA. Um, actually, I think it's the only trade in the GBA. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I think it's the only trade. I think there's been a lot of free agent pickups, but, uh, anyway, back to the match. Uh, Ice Spore is Skarmory. Um, I don't have to worry about it really setting up hazards or, uh, and just whirlwinding. Um, at least for right now, I don't have to worry about it. Um, <clears throat> uh, I was pretty confident that I was going to live that Brave Bird a lot better than I did. And, uh, that's upsetting. Um, but he switched out into Conkleder, and I don't remember... Oh, yeah, I, uh, predicted that. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was this turn or the next... Or if it was this time or the next time when I... Well, anyway. He doesn't want to stay in, because he's minus one. And, uh... But, again, this is Rotom Heat. I just don't have anything for Like... I really wasn't expecting him to bring Rotom Heat against me. Uh... But it turns out it was definitely the best the best matchup for him. Uh, I just went for the play rough because, you know, it's the smartest move. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I don't want to really have to get burned if I don't have to. So, I'm going to switch out in the Sableye because I can taunt him uh, from pain splitting. Um, but he burns me, which I'm okay with, I guess. Uh... It's not really going to make a, uh, a big difference. Uh, actually, I, I'm not sure if uh, burn affects when I use foul play. I know it affects the other per if the other person's burn. Uh, since it lowers their attack, it will do less damage to them. But I don't know if it matters if, like, since my stable eyes burn, I don't know if that played into how much that foul play did. Um, but I, it doesn't matter, really. Like, that foul, that foul play wasn't going to kill Rose Raid regardless. I just really want to know for my, just for future stuff, um, but anyway, uh, 
so if you could let me know in the comments below, that would be great. Um, I can just go into uh, Amoongus and just sit. In, I could sit in here all day uh, and take hits from Roserade. Doesn't matter if he's got HP uh, fire or. Uh, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I can take the hits, so I can just stay in here and I'll be all right. He knows that he can't really do anything to me with him, and uh, this is already going to be a long match as it is. Uh, I go for the spore, um, which he probably saw coming, um, which is why I went back into Skarmory. See, the thing is, I've seen his narration already, and I just haven't, like, I just can't remember what he said, but it's hard to remember stuff, so, um, if I'm wrong, and you've already seen his narration, and you're like, oh, well, this is what he says, that's cool, but, uh, I didn't watch this video recently, uh, it's currently March 25th, so, I mean, the, this battle happened, like, three weeks ago, I want to say now, I think it was three weeks ago, um, anyway, uh, goes out from that after I go into Lord of Mosh. I go for the Thunder Wave, uh, because I wanted to slow down. I wanted to Thunder Wave his Togekiss, so he, uh, which I thought would be a good idea. But, you know, things happen, and, uh, yeah, it's just Rotom Mosh is dead, and now that Rotom Mosh is dead, I have absolutely nothing to do with, uh, Rotom Heat, which I did not realize at the time, by the way, um, yeah, in comes uh, the Rotom Heat again, because he's not going to want to stay in. Um, I think I just go for a play rough here. Uh, like, he's faster than me, and all he has to do is will with me. Um, and it's, it's upsetting, because he's got, like, every, anytime I switch out, he just can he could just predict it and paint split it. But um, I want to save Lie, because it doesn't have nearly as much health as Blissey does, so he's only going to get... A little bit of health back from this thing, not uh, all, not all of his health back. If I would have went into Blissey, and uh, you know, it's, it's whatever. I kind of wish, I kind of wish, like, uh, no, like recovery moves, like n even non-attacking moves. If you send in a ghost type, I feel like if it's like a normal type move, it wouldn't work. Uh, I just feel like it would make the game probably a lot like more streamlined, and uh, you'd have to protect more. I think it would be cool. Uh, I could be completely wrong. You guys would be like, wow, you're an idiot. And that's fine. I mean, I was just voicing my opinion. You guys have your opinions. Uh, I just, I was just throwing out there. I haven't really thought too much about it, but, I mean, it seems like it would be legit. I'm sure there could be things that would cause major problems and it would totally change the metagame, but it's whatever. Back into uh, Tokus. I'm pretty sure you sent Tokus out already. But I have Flygon. Uh, and... I double switch um, because uh, this is the matchup that I wanted. I can take air slashes pretty nicely with uh, Mega Mole while, um, but he again he can just switch out. Um, he's like Mega Mole while. That was an interesting switch, um, but maybe he just spaced at the moment that I had Iron Head because after he saw Iron, he's like, oh yeah, okay. So uh, oh no, it's smart, it's smart. Um, at this point, it's just like, uh, I can't, I don't want to take the chance of, like, anything happening. So I just stay in, uh, the player off this absolutely jack diddly to this Rotom Heat. Um, but even, even still, uh, I, I want to keep this thing alive. I figured the overheat is going to come now, um, or he's just going to Volt Switch. But no, he pain splits again, um, or he pain splits, which uh, I figured the overheat was going to come now after he burned and he burned me and saw that I stayed in. Um, so it was a bad prediction on my part, but it's whatever, you know. Uh, the volt switch doesn't really do too much to me, but his rotom his rotom he is just staying alive. It's just it's taking no damage whatsoever. Um, I have aromatherapy. Uh, he's got Mock Punch, though, and, uh, I, I want to save it, f uh, because he's just gonna keep burning me, and I can just go into Amoongus and take, uh, take hits with it. That knockoff did a lot of damage. Conkleder is really strong, um, 
I'm sure you guys already know that. Sulfus Conqueror is like running rampant like everywhere. Um, but the Drain Punch was pretty pretty obvious, but at this point there's really nothing that I could do about it. I mean, he, he might go for another knockoff. Um, but I thought this foul play was going to do so much uh, more than it did, even though it's resisted. Uh, I really thought it was going to do more than that. And it did not. Like, I didn't expect it to take it out, but I expected it to do a lot more damage. Um, but I can just come into Flygon and threaten him out. Um, I think he goes into Rotom Heat again? No, he goes into his uh, Skarmory, which I, I can't do anything to. I can't do anything to Skarmory with this Flygon, because I don't have Fire Punch. I need Fire Punch on this Flygon. But uh, I didn't put Fire Punch on it. And... I think the reason I didn't put Fire Punch on is because I was afraid of Heatran getting Flash Fire Boost. But even then, I mean, he didn't bring Heatran. Him not bringing Heatran threw me off from the start of this game. And, uh, because I really game planned around him bringing Heatran. I was like 150% sure he was going to bring Heatran. Uh, but turns out I was wrong, and, uh, it's really, just really not working out for me. He goes for the Whirlwind. Um, I figured that might be what he wanted to do. Um, I missed that Fire Fang. Um, that's really upsetting. Because uh, the whole game, I knew that I didn't have to worry about Skarmory uh, if I had Mega Maw while alive because I had Fire Fang and it's going to be a, a two-hit KO at least. Um, so, uh, if I had a Sword Stance up, it would probably have been a one-hit KO. With the, with the Whirlwind, I know that I can't really do anything. Uh, go back into Mawile. He's not going to want to stay in now, I'm pretty sure. That he knows that I have Fire Fang. And uh, he can take Fire Fang all day, every day. Oh, wait, no, I predicted the switch and went for the play rough. Wow. So smart. <laughs> God, you guys are probably playing right now. Or playing? Yeah, well, you're playing the video. So you're watching the video and probably like, Wow, this guy's terrible. No wonder he's... Um, currently two and five, about to be two and eight, uh, two and six uh, to Gubs right now. The burn, uh, figured I'd be all right. Uh, at this point, he can pain split, and I think he'll actually end up losing health maybe uh, after the burn is done, uh, like next turn. I think he'll actually, yeah, he'll lose health. So I know he can't do that. Maybe I'll live in overheat. I think I live on like three. Um, Nah, I live on six, uh, and then I could get a soft boiled up, which works. But he can just pain split again. But it doesn't matter because uh, he's not gonna get too much health from it. Uh, I really, really just needed to get uh, this burn off. So I just go straight for the uh, since he's minus two as well. So he goes for the full search because he needs to get out. Smart play on his part. But, uh, I'll be able to take that full switch really nicely. Uh, Alexam, though. Alexam, as I go for the big Focus Blast with Blissey. Uh, yeah, I have this Blissey for Heatran for Focus Blast. Uh, didn't really, I didn't know how much he was going to do. Figured he would run, uh, would run physical Heatran against my, um, uh, for Mega Mobile. Um, but it turns out, that's not what happened. And, uh... He didn't even bring it. Like, I, when I say that I brought, like, I put Focus Blast on Blissey, I have, uh, I have, uh, Earthquake and, and Superpower on Flygon. Just did nothing. Just, it, like, it's, it's, I'm sad, to be honest. <laughs> like, these last, like, these last couple matches you guys watched, was, like, hurt my soul in real life. It was just so disheartening. Just, just, cause I'm just getting rolled over the entire like, and this is a 46 turn match. This is 46 turns. I've killed zero of his Pokemon. Can like, that's it's such a disheartening loss to lose that way, because it's not like you played terrible. Uh, well, it's not like I played terrible. It's just I just couldn't do anything to any of his people. It was so frustrating, and that's how I feel like that's how Gubbs' team is built. It's just built to just outlast. It's just a... It's, anytime anyone battles Gubbs, it's a slugfest, and it's gonna be a long battle. 
and uh, I mean, there was a, there's tons of good plays in this battle. It's not like it was a bad match. It's just <clears throat> completely one-sided. So, I mean, that's that's my rant. That was a rant for me. Uh, I don't know, it's getting long in the video, so it's just... This thing, my feelings are starting to boil over right now. I, I haven't really vented about my GBA uh, matches, so uh, maybe in the next couple weeks that will happen. Um, who knows? We'll have to see. So, n next couple weeks... Eh, I don't know. I'm not gonna like vent about it. I'm not gonna like rage. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull a, pull a Steve and just start yelling "fuck you, Mike, fuck you" to everything. Um, shout out to Steve though, because uh, he's putting out good stuff. And the GBA is his brainchild, and it's the reason I'm getting so salty. So yeah, I guess it's whatever. But everyone gets salty. Uh, basically, I'm just sitting in here stone edging Scarmory because I can't do anything else. Uh, I'm fast. I'm faster than him, so I can't. It's not like I can even uh, superpower on a predicted roost, but it doesn't matter. Or I would earthquake anyway, because I'm not an idiot. Even though it sounds like I'm an idiot. Oh well, that was fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.